organization of OG's caliber to win. But here we go. Sampi going to be kicking things off over on the attacking side. Interesting as well, because I think this was chosen by them. Nonetheless, we're now going to see them start on that stronger side. Well, OG, they like the defense, apparently. Maybe just off the previous game, they're really feeling the flow. They're in the pistol. Things are looking convincing. The damage done to Trex quickly healed up and, in fact, improved on. He ends up with more health than he started the round with. All right, Ryze, that's a nice opening, but... Sadly, that's gonna be it. Oh. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that would annoy you. <laughs> well, spam well. by Stick. He was just catching a wall. Unfortunately, the Sage wall there to protect. We talked about how hard it is to play this map without a Sage, and that's why we see both teams win one. Destrian's being so huge for this team, and although he delivers a headshot, only Spectre in hand. Oh, Unko's playing Doom right now. Popping heads as he goes around the back of Yellow. Why? Another 3K with the Spectre back to back. Putting figures on the board. Now, DPS, that's, uh, that's a Jonas Shock Dart right there. DPS <laughs> has a chance. The one versus two, the Bulldog to play with, but time is against him. And unless they throw this one away by peeking one at a time. Watching this. Shit. Yeah. Um, I love you, Jonas. It was all Tom's idea. He started this. Hey, look, it's a buy round, so let's talk about that, Jonas. Just forget what we were talking oh, about. Oh, the post. He's walked right by. They have no idea. He's right up in their face. Failing back to Psycho, oh, now he has the info up. that Mackie's actually around you in Snowman. He pops out of it, but he can't really be hunted at this point because his teammates are coming through. I mean, no for OG, ooh, that's a nasty shot. All right, DPS, I, we're watching. You've caught our attention. It is still a two versus four, so chances seeing fairly slim. Trex. You'll need to get something pretty quick here for them to have any sort of chance to actually bring this round back. And they are seemingly still going for this, Mitch. Oh, no. Nope, never mind. <laughs> oh, I don't changed. know why he'd go that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure. But, you know... You know Massive amount of investment. Unko. Is she actually going to be able to survive here? No. He's going to be spotted out and doesn't stand a chance. They're going to use a Hunter's Fury. Maybe a little bit of overkill to make sure the judge... Gets absolutely nothing done. The rest of the team looking for a fast flank. But actually, the man just waiting patiently. He's not going to get anything. Destrium finds an instant headshot. And now they've at least got a gun. Ryan's tucked up in the corner. Should be good to actually farm a couple of kills on this one. Get his ult nice and close to being online. DPS is tagged one, but a... Whoa, whoa, okay. Trex is good to follow up. Pursuing the drone, but a sneaky position by the boy Big P is coming in with one, with two, with three. No, it was only a 2k. That would have worked really well, though. So with those sort of players. Yeah, that's always going to be the question. Whenever you have these less experienced players even come up, you got to be able to oh, match the power. And Trex, well, he's got the power right now. Straight away, grabbing a kill, dismissing out of there. Five versus three emerges right in there. <laughs> Oh, God! I canceled the dismiss to try and go for a fight in the open. Trex is on fire. He's feeling it. But Namam, looking for a little bit of his own damage. Or it's going to be really tough, especially playing against this Odin. Well, yeah, Unko's just been playing Denial. He, he's had snake bites going yep. over the top, and then the Odin to destroy the wall. Uh, he's just made sure that they have to face. They have to try and fight versus this. There's no real safe plant spot, but they managed to pick off two of the three players trying to defend this one. Great patience from Sampi. And now Unko, he's going to try and get something. They've actually denied the plant again. They've dropped the spike another time. This is just going all wrong. And they're running out of time on the clock. They have to get the kill. The dash away might just be enough. A second left on the clock. And Tvik even gets the final. Oh, she's using the knives. Molly. <laughs> it's just, it's just great how dumb we are. But we're CS people. That, that's that's what happens. You can't forget your origins, or we were, I should say. Never touch that game again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even have it installed anymore, Tom. Get it off my PC. Instead, I just rage at Valorant. That is true. That is true. This <laughs> aggressive from Trex after an early pick. He's going to go back for more. And I thought he was going to get away with it. Deathstream finds the kill through the screen. There you go. The, the, the Viper screen. We'll use some proper names and turn it back into a three versus three scenarios. They look to pressure onto the A side, but it does seem, Mitch, that OG have a pretty damn good read. 
Unco primed and ready. Reading the playbook, maybe. Let's see if he's got the next page, because it's starting to flow back a little bit. But Azical doesn't run away with the spike. Instead, it is going to be a commitment into the two players. DPS might be spotted, but it's on this upper platform. Unco, I can already feel him catching them off guard. The first goes to DPS, the snake bite in. It's going to land on to Azical, and he's taking so much damage. Down to 50 HP, being flanked on the side by Unko. Another snake bite at his feet. Oh, no. 24 as he runs away, healing as he goes. But with three players, it's headshots galore that are needed and not found. Unko taking him down. Also, you know, Tom, we've, 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 had a, we've had a good time. You're invaluable to the company. <laughs> but uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to do the job without you. <laughs> I love it. Jonah's taking shots like three minutes after we say something. Yeah, yeah, it's the three minute delay. It man. doesn't it burn people. quite as bad. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason you're casting right now, Tom, is because they asked me first and I said no. Hey, everyone knows that, Jonas. You're my number one choice every time. Let's go into map. They kill on the back lines. Five to three, Wait, but it's looking like you're going to get another on the board. And, and I'll take his chef because you know what? That, that for me is a fair deal. Real win. I, I, want, uh, I, want, I want his chef. No surprise you choose food. It's Vic. Not able to get it done, man. Shout out to Paul. Everyone should try to be more like him. Another opener for Max. He actually just goes swinging into mid. Already finding the pick for his side, and they're starting to look really good on the attack. It started so well for OG, the aggression paying off, but it seems like Sampi have managed to adapt over the last few rounds. Now slowing right down once again, almost leaving the defenders in no man's land, trying to question if this push is coming in. It also means that they can wait for the screen to almost fully charge back up, so they get the extra time as they go for this execution before, of course, it runs out of gas once again. Oh, they're running right through that wall, but it's a mistake. Trex is primed and ready. Makes it away towards the spawn. And those advantages, now they don't need to push in. I don't want to see one player just running on forward and getting picked off. And immediately I see one player running on forward and getting picked off. And that's not great. All down to Namam at the end of the day. Rez comes in. This is perfect. Three versus one. Namam repositions. No one. It's so good. Oh. Pedestrian. He's so quick to react, man. It seems like we see this guy so many here with the Spectre right into heavy traffic. Four players staring at him. Good night, sweet dreams. Besides there, it's a solo hold. Yeah, it's a very peculiar push for, for the solo holder, especially. Sorry, I've just clocked the fact that they used the Viper's Pit on A. Why are we pushing B against yeah. that? And why is no one rotating to B at all? Uh, that was peculiar. They've still got it into a winnable position, though. All the way over the top. This one's going to land. Not quite like the shot dart. And they've already managed to bring one back into the fray as well. So now it's looking to become a little bit more awkward. Is Uncle going to get this halfway, though? He will. And now they're just sticking the defuse. I don't think it's connected on the second time. And, well, now it's a little bit more of a problem. A 7-5 half for OG. A few missteps here and there. Their left side is clear. Trex, really solid player for catching all those little corners, right? Making sure that they don't just get wrecked. There's the I wall this time. and the updraft, but this time they actually spike connect planted. it and the spike gets planted, able to fall back as well. This is a really tough spot for Sampi to get back into it. Even making it towards the spike, they have to push past a firing squad and into a shock dart. Azical goes, his teammates, in fact. That doesn't seem to be stopping OG, even though they lose a player. They bounce right back. I and no one's paying attention to DPS. Yeah, they know roughly where he is, but this is exactly what he did in the previous pistol round. These flanks are just so hard to deal with, especially with the plant so open to all angles. And yeah, that was almost a per So at least one extra orb. They're not going to retrieve the weapon by the looks of it. And now a second coming in as well onto Unko. This is a problem. That clock is ticking away. But OG know that the forces of Sampi are about to come around the corner. That's not the smoke that he wanted to put down. Instead of firing one towards the wall now, they 
No, he's back yellow. They've spotted him with the recon. They're defusing behind the wall. It's still not broken. Classics come out and more and more kills. Swing what? Way. They don't lose a single player in a 3v5 retake. Hope to do a little bit more there. Trex. This is the same sort of play he was trying to make in the previous series. They've counted it slightly better. Tvik will be able to trade one back, only really losing his SMG. The question is, can they do much more here? This is, of course, the bonus round. And Unko again. I almost think he plays better when he's using a Spectre. <laughs> go, ahead, go make that suggestion to him. You just don't buy rifles anymore. See? Well, maybe would have gotten quite, that with a Spectre. Yeah. There you go. Always play Spectre, Unko. Tough plug for be a coach. I, I, I don't see, even with a, a Spectre in his hand, he couldn't. This chance here, indeed it is, but he can't catch an angle on them. Let's see what he can do, though. The right clicks are strong. The players are further back, but the dash still there to play with. And that late lurk, they've tried it. We saw it earlier on mm. just two rounds ago. And now they go for it again. This time, Sampi are ready. And also, that's some of the afterplan utility going as well. I'm sure there'll be some shock darts landing, but this is going to make the retake a hell of a lot easier. In fact, the response is actually to get a little bit more aggressive. And that's a perfect dismiss coming out from Machi. Mackie's going to stick up in the area, though. He's popped his ultimate. The Emperor's activated the higher rate of fire. The ability to just keep healing and dismissing. But he does get shut down by Tvik, who's very quickly in their back lines and taking scalps. Oh, no. Manages to fall back. Still a man disadvantage, even despite this opening by Tvik. Opening the A site completely. Now he's up top. So risky to make this play versus an operator. And he's not even looking. Oh. He just took a shot and didn't even flinch. Dashing onto the site. I don't know what is going on. We've actually managed to get the Vipers pit up as well. You heard it in the background. Not the ideal weapon for it. Playing with a sheriff. Those knives, they can thrive here. Oh, down goes Namam. Two versus two at this stage. Unko falls. So too does the Vipers uh -oh. pit. And that leaves Vic <laughs> in the open. Infected. Oh, God. Spike planted. Us. Still going to be a 4v4 situation, even with the shock dart managing to find one. It delayed the plant for a little bit. Piotr actually looking to try and find some space here. And they're going to go pushing into the corner. They should be able to clear out Unko. One man down, giving them an advantage. And Fit not able to connect his initial shot, but luckily for him, this time the aggression of Trex is enough. Mackie's able to make it safely away. Peter getting himself up top very early on. That's such a good start to the round. Opening pick. And Vic is gone. Solid start, but they're looking to really pile the pressure on. No slowdown just yet. So they're hoping Trex can open things up once again. What a damn good job of it. And they haven't actually been able to clear a lot of the utility, but Machi avoids it and manages to take two down with him. Trex now needing a hero play as Unko is incredibly far behind and with the spike down on the deck. Looking unlikely in this round. Sampi getting ever stronger. Whoopsie daisies. No one's covering Riaz as he drones out. <laughs> Not the ideal spot to drone from. Mackie in with a little bit more really showing us what he can do on this Reina. Trex wants to do the same. One versus three now. Another kill running inside of it. Bravely tanking the damage to avoid peeking right into the Sage. Now it's time to swing, and they're just stacked up on each other. Oh, but no. somehow, they're not able to deal with him. He's healed up to 150, but around the side. Oh, oh. God, he almost got away with it. But Azekul catches him in the nick. Age walls curved upwards. Oh, God. Just like that Hunter's Fury was. Start it down low, aim it up, and take the kills as you go. Sampy down a man. Luckily, the Sage Wall is... Uh, not going to be the key part of this retake if they're forced into one it'll be that viper wall that we see down on yellow cutting off the majority of the angles that these guys would want to hold that spike from oh spamming with a vandal man it's just it's not a good idea and that's why the tracers are so clearly visible Ooh. tell me how trex has gotten away with that kill <laughs> Oh, they've forgotten again. He's always on the lurk. DPS is always behind them. It seems like if anybody else tries to lurk, they get owned. But he's just hitting the perfect timing almost every single time he attempts it. And while Trex, the chance to take that fight and escape as quickly as they can. 
that didn't connect? Okay, I, that looked incredibly close. Maybe dashing just a little bit early, but it may not matter. They found the openers nonetheless. A couple of players dropped. Manchi trying his best once again to do what he can. Still, it turns back into a winnable position. The timing around the corner from Namam leaves just one man standing. And this time, even Trex can't save them. It's a scoreline equalized, 11-11. And try a lot more players here than when they initially started. In fact, going they're way. not going to try and run around. No, they're going to switch up the plant spot. I like this, battling into the defender's spawn. They've got to be careful, though, because of this operator. Even an extra kill here could be a problem, but a completely different retake to what would be used to for the side of Sampi. It's such great control, having to fake to just annoy them on what is already a very difficult push down towards yellow. These guys, they're, they're confused. They're trying to find an angle, a way to take this fight. Mackie's just going out in the open. He's sending it right after him. And he's got him down as well. It's Vic out of the picture. Now they can focus on just one angle. The wall is broken though. And with Riaz having three HP, that might just be it. He is out of here to try and save that weapon, but try is the key word. It's 12 to 11. Can't fight, but sadly, there was too much time left on the clock. This is it here and now, Tom. Sampi fighting for survival. And their economy, although we talked about ults being in an okay position, they've used a lot of them. At the play that we saw in the previous round, you've got that extra players around B. But they can gamble. But now, there's no need to push spawn. Not when you've got Viper's Pit online and active. Rez as well to play with good shock dart DPS. One hit by these sheriffs. Pedestrian comes in to save the day, dominating on another and even rezzing up. This is a disaster for Sampi. They're fighting tooth and nail to get back in, but there's just no oh. way. Well, I don't know how Trex is here, but he is, and he's taking Machi oh. down. Riaz in the molly. Get out of it, man. Spraying through the smoke, trying to catch someone. He knows he's good as dead. Wants to take down a couple of players with him. His teammate Big P on the rotate coming in to help out a little bit. Oh, Onko can actually get up and spam the corner now. I, I, for Riaz, you, you got to be really, really cautious. Ooh. I don't know what that was, but that was not cautious. Oh! oh. This is a weird round again. Oh, I love it. I love when players use the blast now. The, the bonus round for OG. See how Sam, you're actually going to take this control. Trex is just running and gunning. Man, is having an absolute field day. Now his opponent is going to be healed up. He's got to be a little bit careful. Unko does the job, but Namam is very quick to trade Unko through the smoke with the Vandal as well. He's going to turn things back into a two versus two. Now bear in mind, as said, this is the bonus round and Mitch, he's running away and there's only one reason to do that. We all know about those pose plants, don't we? Big P certainly does. That's why he's pushing down. And trying to deal with Unko now, a snake bite already on the side. He's ready! And Unko wasn't. That should be a defuse at this. Not gonna be a walk in the park, that's for sure. The shock dart's coming down though. At least managed to tickle up Dastrian and put him in a pretty tough spot in terms of his HP. But he has the Molly still online, right? Damn, I missed the UI. I think he does. Dastrian has kills either way. Now he's gone and Unko shows up to trade. Big P out of the game, gone. No longer with us, Riaz has it all to do, and it comes close to being a flaw. Yeah, because I'm cursing them. To, oh, to go sorry, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, double I like push. This. I was wondering what they were going for, and in instead of it even being a showstopper... Oh, no. <laughs> in the days of Ghouls playing up close, in fact, they aggroed on the second player, too. Uh. With Mackie down, they know they don't need to contest. For that Guys, control over B. hookah. Big P has got himself a judge, which doesn't really help on retaking the site. Maybe he can use his blast packs to get back in, but Asicle's going to be the man that does the damage. Either that, or we're going to start to see some of these ultimates pop. Then, hey, with five online, you can throw out a showstopper now, no problem. It's just whether they actually want to commit to this or not. Oh, if he didn't bounce that, that actually would have done damage. Uh oh. <laughs> That was so perfect from DPS and leaves Mr. Acicle alongside Naman. He's got a gun that we don't really see very often and for, for good reason. It may still be cheap. That before as, as an intentional play, so let's say it was definitely supposed to go on top. But it might not be for long. 
because Trex is starting to make a bit of a move. This Lurk play catching out one of their rotators already. And in fact, the rest of the team straight through the TP. And this could be perfect. Oh, the Lurk. But she gets no one. Damage. Damage oh. at least. And here's the Hunter's Fury catching a couple more. Esther in avoiding it, luckily. And for OG, man disadvantage. But the valuable ultimates are... That was excellent. It was absolutely excellent. Oh god, that needs to be. He was, at, he was trying to scan in case anyone went through the TP behind them. Well, this time the smokes. They will fall. They have lost Unco once again, so he's not going to be able to put his one on top of the truck to block things off. So instead, it's just going to have to be an all out brawl. Destrian, though, just running straight onto the site, will be able to find that initial opener. And the orbital strike is going to clear out a lot of positions, but more importantly, I was going to say enable them to get the plot. <laughs> what is that from Riaz? As the goal to shoot three times through the box and land every single shot. This round is looking like the best opportunity for Sampi we've seen so far. Well, the shock dart's good. Trex answering up with one. The shock dart to Riaz. Now they pull back into the lead. Oh, that nade did not go according to plan. Showstopper still to play with for <laughs> Peter, but unfortunately... He has put a blast back on the wall and not on the floor. So the showstopper won't be used. And the round, most likely, won't be won. Tom, oh. trouble. Riaz spraying through, trying to cause a distraction. No, actually, oh. that man is completely invisible. This is the best possible scenario for him. In he goes, drops one and two, and his teammates in for more. It looks like Sampi might be getting their first round on the board. There is a showstopper in play for Trex, though. He's got three kills in this round to farm that up, but Azicle takes them both. In around the corner. This round, I think this is round number seven, where Peter has got the ult and has not used it oh, no, and has failed. Oh my God, come on. Just leave them alone at this point. That is BS. <laughs> Just tapped him through the smoke. What's, like, what is this oh. game? <laughs> oh my God, okay. Planted. It's nine to two. I'm, I'm calling it here. Let's see if I can cast or curse them into. Our... <laughs> right. Well, there's two people being. That's too it, late. It's, it's basically point. Viper, Viper, stage. Brim, post plants, oh. Raze, still what you well, The funny thing is, you say post plants. Viper was the furthest forward of all the well, players. Well, it, it, <laughs> true, but what... he's still on B. They have a three. <laughs> Tom, what is going on? They have a three-man B stack. All tucked in on long, doing nothing. Bathroom control. They know there's at least two players there. You know there's players on mid. Now they're starting to rotate. Way too late. This has to be a huge hold by Riaz. He has to go absolutely ham on this. There's the first. Okay. Oh, good start, Ooh, Riaz. Nice. He might just have bought them a chance back into this. Considering the showstopper's online, nobody else should be pushing. Wait, no is the showstopper online? No, oh, yeah, I think they've got a showstopper. Possibly. Are you sure? Yeah, I haven't, I I haven't heard it. That's why I think okay. maybe, you know? Maybe got it online a few rounds ago. I don't ago. think it's online. Oh, oh, here we go. He's popped the showstopper. He's chasing him down, and he's hit absolutely nothing. <laughs> Oh, honestly, that couldn't have gone any better. <laughs> that, that was exactly how I wanted it to go. They're actually defusing. Good job, he's Halfway saying. stuck. He's going all the way. Oh, okay. Oh. A pop flash or two to get them back out onto the site. And they're already going to spot at least one of the players is going to be towards defenders. But how do they actually get the plant in here? Unko already going to pick off one. And they're just not watching the peek out from Hooker at all. Maybe. Sorry, I'm sorry for well, what you at least I, I think at least I'm trying, you know? I was trying. I gave them a shout out earlier with their full name. They have a hyphen in their esports though, so you know. Glad they lost. Oh, okay. A little bit awkward for Trex, and now this is becoming a winnable round. Destrian pulls it back as they TP over to the A site, and it's gonna have to be a full retake once again. Now as I said, this is a full investment. This is everything put into this round for Sampi, and they are gonna be flanked potentially. But it's already been picked off. DPS with a ridiculous reaction shot to take down one. The second player close on the site. And I'll be honest, for once, his weaponry oh. might actually be favored. But DPS is hitting every heady that's offered up to him. And now only one man standing. Cypher trying to hold onto the cross. Might be able to pick one off with a wall bang from here. It's possible. But oh. never mind, I guess. A little bit too much to the right. <laughs> What's going on? Like, 
Is this real life? <laughs> is this real life? Can none of these players use utility? Because the best part about it is that a lot of them, at least not so over on the, the Sampi side in the previous map, and OG historically, are really good players. <laughs> it's just... It just seems like something has happened where everyone's missing on this mass pack play. I like it, Big D. Can you just show ah, oh. Oh, What are you doing? He still gets the kill. Oh, I don't. I don't know anymore. I really don't. Oh, oh, Dancing oh, around. Oh. There we go. He's surviving and everything. I think I'm gonna have a heart yeah. attack, Tom. I'm, well, pretty, I'm pretty sure. It, it, you never know. Maybe the comeback will come in, it's and then the you'll definitely shakes. have a heart attack. So here we go. Retake already looking to come through. The tiger sent through, along with the drone. Lots of information garnering abilities, and Yoda just runs straight through. Hands kills over to the other side, and Twix come in with a double. It leaves just two players standing. A 5 on 4 quickly turns against Sampi, and the spike's being defused. They have to try and challenge for this. It, Rias is stuck, and Mod Twix gonna close it out. 